Uh, Pete, you got one to add? Uh, I do. Um, It's this one's kind of a downer. I hate to say, but uh, I I watched it, and I've I'm up on four. There's four episodes right now. I'm coming up on number four. It's uh, it was done by CNN, but it's available on Amazon. It's Space Shuttle Columbia, the final flight. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my best friends from flight school was Dave Brown, Dr. Dave Brown, and he was on Columbia. We went down for the launch. Thank God I didn't go down for the recovery with my son at the time. Uh, It was, uh, uh, but it it talks about everything to include, you know, uh, interviews with all the family members and the engineers and the ones who were fighting. Hey, you've got to look at this thing. This is a problem to the ones going that. It's not not an issue. Oddly, the ones that said it's no issue. Yeah, right. Had very little to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, and yeah. So we were right there in the stands with the families uh, at, at launch, and <sighs> it was it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. And then to lose them all like that yeah. was was a real downer, like I say. But yeah, hmm. um, fascinating in depth as to how it all came together. Yeah, and right. Came apart. So. Right. Yep. Yep. What you, Dave? Um, Bring us back up, brother. <laughs> uh, we have been watching. It, this is not on streaming, though. Everything's on streaming. Like it right. doesn't. I, I don't. I, I don't. E- I don't even know where things come from anymore. But <laughs> uh, but we've been watching Tracker, which oh. uh, it's this show's fantastic. I think it's the number one show on TV given the right criteria and i don't know what that criteria is like i don't know what you include and exclude to get that but um yeah it's it's about to air its final episode or release its final episode whatever term we're supposed to use these days uh but uh, or maybe it did just release like sunday night on the 19th it released its final episode but it's it's a story about a guy who basically spends his life as a uh, he 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 does contract jobs searching for people. So if, if you've got a missing person, you hire this guy and and he goes and finds him. And of course, he's got an interesting team behind him and all this stuff. And he's in different locations around the United States. And he's sort of a loner, but not really. And and there's some character development that happens, of course. But um, even just individually, you could you could drop into almost any episode of it. Uh, that I've watched so far. I have not watched the fight, the season finale, but, uh, but you could drop into any episode and be like, Oh yeah, I, I get this show. Like it's, it's fascinating and interesting. And the stories are different. And there's a nerdy guy in it that like does all of his like tech work. And, and so like, there's that element of it, but, uh, but it, it's a really well done show. Both Lisa and I love it. Actually, everybody in the, the like when Lucas was home, he watched an episode with us. He's like, this is fantastic. So is it yeah. reality TV or is it no, no. fiction? Oh no, it's fiction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, oh, it's okay. fiction. Yeah. There's, there, there's a script and there's actors. And, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, no, it's a fair yeah. question. Yeah. 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 I think it's on CBS, but you know, it's, you could stream it. I'm sure from CBS. So yeah. There you go. Yeah. Fun, fun little show. Yep. I'm going to give away that I, that I watch a lot of documentaries that like I'm big on documentary stuff. So like the other thing I am addicted to, and then there's a new episode out tonight. So I'm excited is welcome to Wrexham, which is about, um, uh, now I'm going to blank on Ryan Reynolds and, um, Rob McElhinney, Rob McElhinney, the other guy, (laughs) they always make fun (laughs) of him. But uh, yeah, buying a football club in Wrexham, UK, and yeah. there's three seasons now. They're on the third season, and it is just fascinating to see what they're doing with this club and this old town, and and bringing the team along. and And they also kind of go on tangents. So there's often there'll be a story kind of in the main thread of what's happening with the team, but then they also throw in these very interesting stories about different players. Like there was a whole couple episodes about the women's team. Um, and it's just, it's fascinating and I absolutely love it. I'm totally addicted to it. It's great. It's on Hulu. Yeah. 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 We watched one season of that and I, for whatever reason, I, I, I sort of lost, I don't want to say I lost interest. It just, we never resumed it at some point. So I'm glad to hear that it's, um, that, that like it has continued to be good. So yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, speaking of documentaries, I was on a train again last week and, uh, watched on my way back from New York. I watched, um, a documentary that Stuart Copeland drummer from the police put out 
called Everyone Stares, The Police Inside Out. He was always into like capturing things. And so even in the very early days of the police, he had a video camera with him and just took footage of all kinds of moments, including a lot. It, I, he clearly got into a habit of walking on stage every night with the camera in his hand. You'd see Stuart and Andy, uh, Sting and Andy, you know, kind of walking on stage in front of him. He would like take a quick shot of the crowd and then hand the camera to someone, his drum tech or you know road manager or something, as he got behind the kit and sort of wave and start the gig. But it's interesting to see the size of the crowds evolve throughout the beginnings of their career, but oh, also yeah. just a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. And he assembled this, uh, I think, with one of his brothers, uh, you know, that helped him kind of produce it and put it all together and string it into a, a tellable story. And it was really well done. Fascinating. Obviously, I'm a I'm a drummer. I'm a police fan. And I'm also like you, Adam, a fan of just documentaries that are, you know, that kind of give you an inside look at things. And so uh, all of that put together, I I really I, I was I wasn't sure how how much of it I'd watch. And I was like, I ravenously just watched the whole thing. It's not that long. It's wow. maybe, you know, maybe 80 minutes or something. So. Yeah, now I have to ask you, this isn't really a streaming show or anything like that, but um, have you seen the movie Whiplash? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I I have a funny story about that movie. There, There is a moment in that movie that's very... It's a movie about a, um, a, 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 a teacher, really, and a drummer in a, in a college, I guess, college yeah, jazz yeah. band. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually knew a teacher like that um, I thought they made the movie about him. Uh, they uh -huh. did not. Yeah, they did make it about, there was someone else that was the inspiration, but I, I knew someone like that. Thankfully never really had them as a teacher. Cause I, I don't know that I'd want a teacher like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, um, but it's about or a teacher instructor like that I or, or anyone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, but yeah. you know, he was a very demanding teacher, but there's a moment in that, that movie where, um, there's, a uh, a tragedy, a surprise tragedy that, that happens. And it's a shocking moment. And, uh, I watched it with my daughter on an airplane <laughs> for the first time. And when that happened, we both screamed out and my wife looked at us and she was like, Nope, you can't do that. on an airplane." <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So people know, I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dark drama movie. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, you have to be in the right headspace, I think, to watch yeah. that. But it it was I thought it was amazing. I, oh, I, really I thought I loved it. it. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. But yes, it's heavy. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, yeah. well, thinking of dark drama, then I'll take you into the other one that um, I, I I contend to this day, uh, and and it's actually two different series, but uh, they're they're prequel sequel, I guess. And then sure, uh, one becomes the prequel, and then the sequel. It it ends as a sequel. Spoiler alert is best written show ever i think is breaking bad and oh. better call saul oh, oh, yeah. i thought That's you were old. going yellowstone and oh, it's, yeah. it's 18, also very good yellowstone 86. in 1883 and 1923 very good still waiting yeah. on the second season in 20, of 1923 well yeah but yeah. um huh. breaking bad i i here's the thing and i can't tell you how many people have come back to me and said i watched a couple episodes i couldn't get into it of breaking bad that's and me. You can't. It's going to take six to get into it. I think I watched yeah. a whole season of it, but yeah, it's it's the best written series ever. I just it, the writing on it is astounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. 